Hey guys, so look what we have right here. We've got hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of poison hemlock plants that are about, you know, one to two meters high. Um, and in this video, I'm going to share with you an idea of what I think is the best way to deal with poison hemlock. So number one, um, you don't want to burn this stuff. It could be tempting to uproot it and to burn it, but it can release toxins in the air that can be dangerous. Number two, you might just think you can just mow over it, but you know, we've had the same patch of, of this poison hemlock on the ground since we bought the property a few years ago and we've tried to keep it mowed down and it doesn't seem like it's killed the plants. So I think two of your primary options would be either to get a powerful spray that kills poison hemlock. I've heard that there is some sort of spray you can spray on it that will kill it. Or you can do what I'm planning on doing which is putting on a long sleeve shirt, wearing gloves and uprooting them. Luckily, the poison hemlock plant is relatively easy to uproot. The tap root kind of looks like a short, you know, white carrot kind of, and you just pull it out of the ground. If you have soft soil, it can be relatively easy to do. So I'm gonna try to take them out, and I'm gonna put them into a trash can. Now, it's important you put it into a trash can instead of just having a bag, because I did that yesterday, and I was touching the stuff that got all over my arms. I hope I do not break out in a rash in a few days, but um, you really want to put it in some sort of form in a trash can, so that way you don't have to like break everything and shove it by hand into um, a trash bag. And then after I pull up as much of the poison hemlock as I can, I'm planning on just keeping this area mowed down to the ground as much as I can, hoping that you know the grass will fill in the places that I pulled out weeds. Good luck taking care of your poison hemlock. Have a good day.